I will show you how you can integrate Chrome SDK into your Android application. Before start to integrate, we suggest you to visit our GitHub page where we have successfully integrated video editor into Android project together with a lot of documentation about uh, some technical information, integration steps and uh, a lot of documentation uh, related to customization and configuring the Nuba Video Editor UI and behavior. So in this particular video, I will use this Android integration sample uh, like uh, an example and will copy a lot of code from this sample to make integration process easier. So you can click on the code button here and download this project locally to your machine. I did it uh, some time before. So this project called Integration App. And as I said, I will use some code from this project into my own just created Android application called Demo App to integrate Panuba Video Editor SDK. So this uh, small application uh, has a single button with a title create video and I will try to integrate Panuba Video Editor in such way where I will click on create video button and open Panuba Video Editor. So the first step is to download required Banuba modules because a video editor consists of a lot of special uh, modules. So in integration app sample, I go into project level build.gradle file. I need to copy a Banuba repo user, Banuba repo password and a couple of Madden repositories from which I will download required modules. So return back to demo app and paste these repositories on the repository section of project level. After that I return back to integration app to copy all required modules dependencies. So I open build.gradle on the app level and copy all dependencies from here and paste them on the app level build.gradle file in my demo app. I can just replace these dependencies because they are provided together with Banuba modules. Additional little uh, copy paste related to packaging options. So I copy this packaging options field from integration app and paste it under Android section of my demo app. It will help me to avoid some uh, issues related to native libraries. So at this point I can sync project and uh, download all dependencies described here. So okay. As you can see in uh, integration app to open video editor we need to launch video creation activity. This activity is the main entry point into Banuba Video Editor. So, all activities should be declared in our Android manifest. So, go into Android manifest XML file in Banuba sample, 
default integration method. And find here video creation activity. The entry point to Omega Video Editor SDK and copy this activity. Return to demo app. Open its own Android manifest file and put activity tag here. Okay, resolve this namespace. And you can mention that custom integration app theme is in red color. It means that we have no custom integration app theme here. What is this? Return back to integration app, open resources, values, and themes, and find here custom integration app theme. Okay, this is. Uh, you can see that this theme inherited from video creation theme. So video creation theme is a default theme that provides all required styles and attributes for UI customization of Balnuba Video Editor. So in this particular example, I just create an empty custom integration app theme in my demo application. So I open here the themes file and just create custom video editor theme and parent video creation theme. Okay, this theme will be the main point for customization of Bonobo Video Editor. So we should place the theme as a theme for video creation activity in our manifest file. The next step is to set up dependency injection provided by Goya. So return back to integration app application and find here integration Kotlin app class. Here you can find uh, Goyen setup in the onCreate method. You can just copy this Goyen setup, open our demo app and create an application class, uh, for example, demo application, inherit from application and override on create method to paste the I setup here. So we need to change our context to our demo application class. And you can uh, mention that integration coin module class is in red in our demo app. So what is this class about? Into our integration app, open this class, and you can see that this integration coin module is a provider for a different overriding. So the behavior of Bonuba Video Editor set up by providing these classes into its own coin module. So in my demo app, I do not need any customizations, so I delete this class. We need another one called races. Okay, demo application, we need to declare it under our application tag in manifest file. Okay, and the final step is to provide Bonobo token. Let's create a Bonobo token local, local string resource file. You know that there is there are three different uh, ways to provide Bonobo token locally from Bonobo token string resource from 
Firebase and from your own remote server. All of these ways are described in the GitHub page of integration sample. So you can find it under token title. Okay, return back to our project and I will copy my own token, paste it. And now, when almost all done, we just need to create an intent from video creation activity. You can see that there are some proper methods. I'll start from camera, from draft, from editor, from trimmer, so you can use any entry point for your own use case to open video editor. In this, at this time, I need just to open camera. So I paste the context here. I do not need to open picture picture. Do not need uh, to pass any additional data uh, to the expert. I have no any audio track selected. So I just want to start activity with this intent. Okay, let's go. Okay, demo app is launched. I click on create video. Allow permissions to video and audio. And that's it. Banuba Video Editor is opened into my demo application. You can see a lot of uh, default icons, uh, which means that we need to customize UI in future. Okay, some restrictions on recorded video. It should be more than three seconds. Pass on the trimmer screen and so on and so on. Thank you for watching this video.